Hi Gary, this is Philip, and I'm showing you the example of new script. Uh, I just want to show you how it works and uh, give you a few instructions. So uh, this is my code. I put a uh, few conditions just to set macro uh, to look after uh, proper PDFs and extract uh, data, correct data. This is CSV file you gave me with parcel IDs and this is output file which is empty for now. Let's switch to uh, Firefox. Okay, I suppose uh, your options are like this. You have four uh, Adobe Acrobat uh, extensions and they all use plugins for Firefox. So basically when you click on quarterly sa statement of account you get this. This is a PDF format in a browser and this is something I really want to avoid. So uh, I discovered an issue during my tests. It seems like when I go to tools and options and when I select an action for this to always ask, uh, Firefox should uh, ask me what to what action to take. So uh, when I clicked on this link I still got this uh, format, so this is really weird. Uh, however, I found uh, a solution for this problem, and the solution is uh, go to Tools and Options, and go to uh, Adobe Acrobat document and select option Save File, then click OK. Then again, go to Tools and Options, and then select Always Ask, and then click OK. Alright, now click on the quarterly statement of account and you should be able to see this. This is what I need and this is what iMacros need in order to manipulate with uh, PDF files, in order to save it to right place on disk and to upload to Zoho Viewer. Zoho Viewer is a small software on website used for PDF reading and extracting data. So, uh, let's try the script. Uh, before I uh, start uh, the script, uh, I will just set uh, the iMacro speed to medium so you, should, uh, you will be able to see uh, everything that script does. And uh, that's it. Uh, one more thing. Uh, I checked this option here. Uh, I just said uh, Firefox to close the downloads dialog when all, all downloads are finished. And uh, this is useful if you don't want to get annoyed by a bunch of uh, dialogues and so on. And also, you need to check this. Always ask me where to save files. Okay, that's it for now. I will click OK. Here is my script. Get property property info.js and uh, here is my output file which is empty. And uh, I will start the script by double click on it within this sidebar. As you see, it goes very slow. It reads necessary parameters, enters the data goes to quarterly statement of account now saves file to the disk opens uh, Zoho Viewer for PDFs then it uploads a PDF and now we can extract every data every value we need, mailing address, unpaid charge, current, 
and total amount. Of course, uh, if some values uh, don't exist, uh, the script will automatically set them to not available. And you should able to see that in a CSV file. Okay, now we extract the market value right here from the table. And the last step of this script is uh, setting all parameters uh, to save to CSV file. And now the script goes after second parcel ID. I set the script to uh, show the current uh, parcel ID right here. So in every time, in any time you know uh, how much is left or how m much uh, uh, parcel IDs are processed, and so on. All right. The reason why it took me so long uh, was. Uh, there are there uh, are many different combinations of these PDFs. Uh, some have unpaged charts, current charts. Some have uh, current balance. Some have outstanding uh, charts, and so on. So I had to go to dozen of PDFs and find out uh, how many combinations there are. And uh, according to these uh, combinations, I set up all the conditions in the script. For now I tested on uh, over four or five hundred PDFs and uh, it seems they look uh, they uh, work uh, really good. Uh, basically I didn't get n I didn't get uh, any error or uh, I haven't got any problem with it. But if you run to any issue, just let me know. I will fix it without a problem. As you can see, we are on third parcel ID. And uh, after it's finished, I will just stop the script and show you the final file, the output file. Alright, now let's see the output. The file has been modified by another program. Yes, I want to reload it. And here it is. <coughs> uh, I will just paste all the values of columns here. Basically their meaning and put them in the first row. Alright, as you could see, this is the owner's name, the street, the city, estimated market value, unpaid balance or charges, current balance or charges, and total charges due the most due due by most recent statement. I believe uh, it was in February, but uh, these things you know better. So. Uh, Owner's total total debt amount is not available, probably because the owners paid all taxes, and uh, outstanding outstanding charges not available, and new charges and amount due by most recent statement also not available uh, not available. So uh, iMacro uh, pulled off all data available. And uh, it saved.
them to CSV file. So that's it for now. Uh, if you have any question, just let me know and uh, hope to hear you soon. Bye.